Hello, and welcome to the RC Lawn Chairs Pilots Podcast. That was a mouthful. Yeah, it was. I'm Derek. Steven. And we are here to share our adventures in the RC hobby. Won't you come and join us as we take to the skies? And, other and, roads, and, and roads and water and, waters and everything. Everywhere we can go in a remote vehicle. So let's start off. Introduce ourselves, tell our listeners and our viewers a little bit about how we got into this, who we are, stuff like that, and we'll just kind of go through. Steven, you want to go first? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, I'm Steven. I've had RC cars growing up. Um, usually it was like a Christmas gift. I'd drive it for a while and then forget about it. I have three of those in my garage right now that all need to be repaired. Uh, lately, though, I've been getting into drones and this cool little, let's where my fingers pointing, right there. right there. That cool little thing and some of these little uh, drones that probably hard to see. Uh, and then DJI stuff, like that's what the master, Roadmaster, this thing. Roadmaster? Yeah, this Robo thing is Master. awesome. We've got two of them, one for my son, one for myself. Um... And drones, like the DJI Maverick is one I've got. So I'm... Sitting somewhere around here. It's behind me. Oh, there it is. Right there. Just off screen. Yeah. That camera can see it. Yes. I have... <laughs> uh, so that's just real quick. I just... A little bit, last two years, and that's about it. Um, other than that, I, you know, I play games, do D&D stuff, and do podcasts. Yeah. Yeah, this is our second podcast we've done together. Um, so, I'm Derek, similar to Steven, I grew up, had a couple little things, and in recent years I've gotten more into it. Um, and just in like the last year or so, I decided that this, of all the hobbies I have accumulated, this is the one I want to delve deeper into. Um, but yeah, so Steven and I, we've known each other for six, six years. years. Yeah, six years. Um, we've been doing a and d podcast for the past two and a half years. Yep. And we decided we didn't have enough on our plates, so we wanted to share our hard scene knowledge <laughs> and our adventures with you guys. Well, we're sharing his knowledge and my inexperience and learning and what I what I what I experienced going through um, trying to do more RC stuff. Don't mistake uh, that for me knowing anything. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely know more than me yeah that's not much <laughs> but yeah and so we want to share this with you guys right like what's the heartaches of getting into the rc world that's what that's what we're sharing here and what's it, the heartaches of maintaining in the rc world that that's too my word yeah I, I like i mean there's all kinds of different things that you you need to know depending on what kind of RC you're going to be piloting or driving. Like, if you're out there with a tank, <laughs> you know, so <laughs> we're excited about that, hopefully. In the next year. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. That'd be awesome. Um, or if you're on boat, if you're out boating, if you're out racing cars, or if you're piloting drones, uh, at size of drones, if you're out piloting planes, size of planes, all of that... Every little thing of that changes what you need to know. Yeah. And that's what we're on this adventure, to learn more about each of those little things. Because we have, we have everything from this tiny little quadcopter all the way up to I am in the process of building a nitro-powered gas RC plane that has a 72-inch wingspan. Yeah, and I, I have design. I have hopes for bigger. Don't you have a B two bomber that is no. a? What's the one that I'm building a Piper Cub. Oh, Piper Cub. And I want a B seventeen. That's the one. That's but the that's one. a nineteen foot wingspan and costs three thousand dollars <laughs> just for the wood and the plants. Yeah, so <laughs> a, a bit expensive, but again. How much money do you have to put into it to start getting into it? Yeah, you don't have to put in three thousand dollars. You don't, and that's the best part about this. Um, I'm, we got it show notes, so we have to pay attention to these. Make sure we're 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 following this. Um, we are also going to be putting this on YouTube along with the podcast. 
Uh, the reason for that is because we're going to go out and do activities. We're going to go out, we're going to fly our drones, we're going to fly our, our airplanes, we're going to race our cars, or we're at gonna least go drive to, them. We're going to go to events. We're going to go out and watch other people that are, you know, experts, <laughs> and watch them do it. Hopefully we'll even get some interviews. So we'll be able to throw those videos up uh, where it's just video. Uh, the rest will be on the podcast. And we're going to share that with you, and um, hopefully all of us will be able to grow. It's, you know, from batteries to gas to controllers to motors uh, and servos and materials. And the list is endless, and hopefully we can pull enough information that we can make a good show for you guys. Yeah. And Um, you can learn something along the way while we... Slowly burn down craft after craft after craft. <laughs> and, and what other projects that we're using, that we're doing to facilitate this? Yeah. Uh, we've got some things that Derek's been working on. Um, I've been doing not as much, but some things also um, to kind of get get more into the hobby. So Yeah, because you want to get, like you've got your RoboMaster and your quadcopters, but mm-hmm. you want to do airplanes. I wouldn't mind doing airplanes. I also wouldn't mind doing FPV drones. Um, that's first person view uh, flying the drones. So and I'd like to do that sort of thing on airplanes. Yeah. Which... So there's, we're going to delve into all kinds of aspects of this hobby and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, and even if they had FPV racers, uh, car race, I don't even know they if they do. have them. They do they? Oh, man, that'd be There's fun, There's a too. company that makes a little tiny car about this big that you can... It's made by Emacs. It's like 100 bucks, but it has FPV goggles, transmitter, uh-huh. camera, everything ready to run. I want it so bad. Okay, so that's a thing we're going to have to look into. We'll talk about that later. Yeah. We'll talk about our wish list in a later episode. <laughs> yes. But, Stephen... How long, so again, how long have you really been a remote pilot? I would say probably a year and a half to two years. Okay. That's that's really as long as I've been. Like I said, I had the RC cars growing up, Yeah. but never really dove into it except for the last year and a half to two years. When I got my DJI um, license and uh, Mavic Air, or, yeah, Mavic Air, and licensed it and everything... Once I got this, that really like sent me into a, a spiraling path that um, I don't regret. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> That's good. Um, so I have been officially flying. I have video to prove it. It's on my YouTube. Um, since about 2016, early 2016, I built a flight test tiny trainer. And I put it up and it flew a couple laps and then I immediately nosed it into the ground. Because I had no idea what I was doing. That's I've, important. I've flown other things a little bit before that and since then, but it's only been in like the last year that I've really decided to delve in. And sadly, I've collected more than I've flown. Yeah. So this is my hobby room uh, off slash office. Um, you can see I've got different From things. The camera, all the camera angles you can see. I, I'm, I'm into from. a lot of different uh, electronics stuff. And uh, so getting into building my own drones, building my own um, airplanes, maybe even building my own cars, not building my own tank, but buying one of those tanks. No, I will We'll talk about that in a later episode because, yeah. oh my gosh, that they look... They're so cool. <laughs> ...freaking amazing. Um, like, that stuff, that's what I like. It's fun. It's exciting. And so... I'm I'm so looking forward to doing this because yeah. this is like something we're gonna like. I need to get out. I need to get some research. I need to go fly it. I need to go drive it. I need to go whatever. Get some video to share with you guys. And it gives us an excuse to go out and do this cool stuff. Yeah. Because I'll be doing I'll be doing build logs and videos of all of most of my projects to some extent because I have many projects. <laughs> like I have. So, in regards to what I'm currently flying and driving, I haven't driven it for a while, but I have a HPI Savage Nitro truck. Nice. It's like 10 years old. <laughs> I haven't driven it in five, so I need to get it back up and running. And then I have a whole bunch of planes, half of which are still in construction. Others are in different parts of disassembly as I've scavenged them for parts. Yeah. 
Yeah. And it's just going to keep growing from there. But I've got a couple flyers. So what's on your bench right now that you're currently working on? Okay, so I just finished building. So if anyone listening or watching has ever seen, been part of the flight test forums, you've probably seen the ERC Time Saver foam board cutter that it cuts with a reciprocating needle. I just finished building and programming my own. So I have got that up and running. So I'm going to be able to start cutting out all the foam board airplanes once I go raid Dollar Tree for all their foam. Um, I have a really old EDF kit that I got from a friend at work who's decided to give me all his old stuff that he's never used in years. Um, but it is a, it's called the Phase 3 EF-16. So it's a 60-something millimeter EDF fan. So that's, for those that don't know, it's electronically electric ducted fan. So it's like an electric turbine. I have an it's a pretty simple plane, but it's supposed to be screaming fast. So I'm working on building that. Like I said, I'm building a Piper Cub. It's actually the Carl Goldberg Anniversary Edition Piper Cub. It's been out of production for years. My father-in-law built or bought it four years ago when we started building it. I haven't touched it since then because <laughs> school got in the way. I couldn't do it. Um, but we're going to get that finished up. I actually just bought the engine for it. It's a four-stroke. Uh, 82 or 0.82 cubic inch nitro engine sounds awesome i'm super excited for that i have a small hand launch glider it's just a two channel discus launch glider so you spin around a circle and whip it into the air and then you have elevator or rudder and elevator controls i also have a yeah i'm super excited for that one that one should be the easiest to fix um and then i have a big 52-inch wingspan trainer float plane that I'm converting from gas to electric as I can fix some some of the uh, broken heart or balsa sheeting on it. And then I've, with the ERC time save, I'm going to build all the, all the flight test planes. So that is, that is my workbench. It is very crowded. <laughs> I spent $500 in the last month just on parts. <laughs> I didn't realize it until my wife counted up. Uh, well, my well, workbench yeah. is a lot smaller when it comes to this. Yeah. Um, I've got I since since we're working on this and we're gonna do this. Uh, uh, right now, I've got some RC cars. Uh, they're all uh, 9.6 electric. I'm going to pull them out. I'm going to see what I need to do to get them running again. 9.6 so, electric. What does that mean? Uh, the battery is a 9.6 volt battery. Oh, gotcha. So. Um, and now I'm going to pull those out, see what I need to do to get them running, um, see what I can repair. Knit, as far as I know, two of them, they're not hobby, so I'm going to have to find the components if they're broken and repair them myself. Mm -hmm. So they, they're not hobby components. Nice thing about like hobby style um, anything, you can they have replacement parts that are readily available usually. Like the RoboMasters. Yeah. A I lot can, of these little drones, you can buy replacement parts yeah, pretty easily. Let me, let me reach through here. So I have gone and gotten a body for one of my drones, that blue one right there. Oh, no. And it used to be green. I have a blue case for it. And I actually need to replace the body again. I crashed it the day I fixed it. <laughs> Good job. Uh, and, well, it, I, I crash it all the time. That's the nice thing about that. It's only a $70 drone. You might say, wow, $70. That's super cheap. This one over here is $1,100. $70 and no big deal. No. Right? Uh, and he just spent $500, and he doesn't have a working one. <laughs> no, so, my quadcopter's dead. So, uh, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to get those RC cars up and running. I'm going to fix this guy again. Uh, I'm going to do some flights with these little guys out there. Uh, maybe see, actually, maybe just record my son flying them. That's right, because they're FPV. Yeah, They've that one. Tiny little camera in the nose. So I have one that I can do FPV. The goggles are actually behind the controller. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the other one, this red one up here, uh, one's FPV. The other one is just, just video. It's not FPV. It just records the video. Just records the video. That's cool. So those are kind of the small things that I'm working on. Uh, nothing like what you've got going on, Derek. Mm -hmm. well, um, and for those of you wondering, don't worry, you will see my work space in future episodes as we record remotely or whatever situation presents itself. So don't worry, you'll get to see 
the mess of my hiatus. <laughs> yeah, it's when it comes to RC stuff, it's probably a little more impressive than mine. I have planes hanging from the ceiling. Yeah, yeah. Um, on my wish list. Yeah, let's hear what's on your like wish list. Like the number one thing on my wish list right now is those tanks that you sent me that link to. We'll <laughs> talk about those in greater detail. This is just a teaser. But I want one of those tanks. If you want to get an idea, go to MotionRC.com. They're not a sponsor. That'd be awesome. Motion RC, if you see this and want to sponsor us, that'd be great. Um, but they have a series of tanks that, like, the day they released them, half of them went on back order because they were bought out immediately. Yeah. But you can do combat with them. You can do lasers. You can do airsoft battles. Okay, they this are is too much. Awesome. This is too much. This is too much. We, that okay. was a teaser. Okay. Teaser. Teaser. I'm sorry. I want to keep alert. that. Yeah. So anyway. So spoiler alert. That's that's on that's on my wish list. But it's probably not. I mean, it's number one, but it'll probably be a lot longer. Another one is I want to build my own FPV drone. And so on my wish list is I'm thinking of getting a starter kit with a really nice mm -hmm. controller, and that way I can go back and do either upgrades. Or even get components, but while I'm doing that, I'm out flying. Which means, well, and it's nice getting a starter kit because then you don't have to be like, okay, I got this frame, I need motors, ESC, all these things. That match. How do frame. I pair them together right? Exactly. Which is a nightmare. Getting a starter kit where it comes with most of the electronics makes that so much easier. Exactly. So the starter kit I pick up, I will definitely talk about, whatever it is. And the controller, I will make sure my starter kit doesn't come with a controller. Um, or if it does, that it is re fully replaceable because I want, there's some controllers that Derek has and uh, another one of our friends who's getting in the FPV racing um, that I'm very interested in. And so those are the controllers that I'm looking to get. Uh, again, we'll talk into greater detail about those uh, in later episodes yeah. as, it, as we move through this adventure. So yeah. that is the top of my wish list, those two right now. Now my wish list is so long. <laughs> I've narrowed it down to six things I can tell you about. <laughs> so first, there's like so with all the remote ID that's going on, if you're anywhere in the hobby, you've probably heard about it. But they've got weight limits. So between 250 grams and 55 pounds, you have to register. Well, there's a company out there called willynillies.com. All they have balsa wood balsa kits. Here's cut out, that fully assembled electronics and everything are less than 250 grams. So I want all of their kits, and they're super cheap. It's pretty great. Um, there's another company that makes balsa wood kits called Sig Manufacturing, and they make some awesome kits that I'm super excited for. There's several that I want. Um, there's a company called Nautilus Dry Docks that makes RC tank or submarines. Oh, wow, that'd be cool. And they have a 148th scale German U-boat that looks incredible. I think I just added something to my wish list. The complete, like, all parts included kit is like 1400 bucks. It's on the lower end. <laughs> but it's like it's like a five-foot submarine. It's huge. Um, then there's also, on the cheaper side of aqua, uh, aquatic craft, there's something called the Zip Kits Tugster. Tiny little plywood tugboat it's cute and cheap <laughs> it looks like a lot of fun which um, is what we like and then i also want to tank like steven does and then there's a company called arthobby.com and they make they all all they do is gliders and they make some really really nice ones so i want one of those all right so um so that was our wish list yeah have you been on any outings gone and done any flying or remote stuff yeah recently? about a week ago um, at the time of recording, uh, but as it is, the um, I was uh, down in Hurricane Utah, and I was flying around the Virgin River, and I've got nice. some video of that. So I'm hoping I can get. I haven't edited it yet. I've been working on some other things, um, but I want to mix it down, um, edit it up, and add some you know fun music and whatnot. You gotta put that on your drone's YouTube channel. Yes, I will probably put that and. I may put that on this YouTube channel also. Sweet. So, That'd we'll see. A yeah, yeah, if not both. And so, speaking of those things, you have this, RC Lawn Chairs mm. Pilots, um, YouTube, and You'll the podcast. Yeah, so you can find us here on YouTube. 
You can find us on podcasts. The podcast service hosting thingy we're using, um, Anchor.fm, will put it everywhere. So you should be able to find it on your Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, Spotify, whatever other nonsense app you decide to use. Your favorite podcast, you should be able to find it there. Yeah. If not, YouTube's always a good backup. Yeah. Um, uh, we're going to also try to release every other week. Yeah. Um, at least something. So um, watch for those uh, every other week. Yeah. Turn For the videos, turn on your notification bell, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Yeah. Um, that way you'll get the notifications when they hit you. Uh, when we put them out. Yeah. For listening to the, for the audio portion of the podcast, if your podcast app allows it, hit that. Tell it to turn on notifications. At least subscribe so you can see it pop up in your feed, all that fun stuff. So we also have our YouTube stuff. We're going to do outings, whatever, said that, videos. Uh, we have RC Lawn Chair Pilot Podcast Facebook. Yeah. We have a mouthful of a podcast name. We may have made a mistake. RCLCPP. I don't know if that's better. <laughs> it's fun to say, though. Um, so you can find us on Facebook. Yep. You can find us on Instagram at RCLCP Podcast. Yep. And Twitter, same For thing. The same thing. At RCLCP Podcast. Yeah. Um, then we are also on a couple of the major forums. We are on RC Groups. You can find us. I don't. I haven't set that up yet at the time of recording. <laughs> but we'll it'll be, be there. It'll be linked in the video. Um, <laughs> and, and then we'll also be on the flight test forums once I get that set up. Um, me personally, you can find me. On all those things except for Facebook because I have that locked down. But you can find me YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, RC Groups, Flight Test, Savage X eighty nine. If you want to see me personally, I have multiple YouTube. So if you're looking for my flight stuff, it's going to be um, Stephen the Wiz flies drones. Oh man, I can't even remember with what it's called now. No Holy idea. crap! Let me. Well, it, you haven't posted there in like five months. No, I did. I, I looked today. It's been five months. Wow. Well, I, I well, like I said, I've got some stuff that I got to put up there. Um, you can find him most places by searching Stephen the Wiz. Yes. And it's not Stephen with a V. It's Stephen with a PH. Yes. Because Stefan. It is. Oh, drones and more. That's right. Drones and more with Stephen the Wiz. So, um, that is my more and, of a mouthful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we like um so uh yeah check out uh it's it's just just videos uh with some soft music and stuff like that of uh, different places that i've flown my dji mavic air so there's some cool stuff up there some there's, really pretty scenes. there's some fun things that i've done and uh so check us out check me out there um check us out here where you found us and on the video version and the, the listening only version. Podcast. Yeah, podcast. That's... And of course, if you like what you see or hear, feel free to, or please tell your friends, tell your club members if you're in an RC club, share us on social media, help spread the word. Our goal is similar to flight tests where we want to help spread the knowledge and help people realize that the fun that there is in this hobby how easy it is to get in, and it's not what other people are making it out to be, this terrible thing. Yeah, it's a wonderful hobby to get into. Um, it's great. Like I said, my son loves to fly my drones, and we, we race these things. We have battles with these things. They're great. You it's, need to record video of those battles. I do need to. Um, they have cameras and everything. There's yeah. no reason you aren't. There's no reason you shouldn't be. Yeah, well, I'm just lazy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of editing. Uh, but with all that, like, please join us uh, when we when we release these. Um, let us know. Maybe one day we'll even do some live stream of something if something comes up. Uh, that's a potential. We're not saying we will. Most things will be edited uh, so we can make ourselves our, make ourselves sound better than we really are. Exhibit A. Exactly right here. Uh, anything that you guys reach out to us, um, RC Lawn Chair Podcast. RC Lawn Chair Pilots. Uh, RC Lawn Chair Pilots at gmail.com. Yes. Um, go ahead, throw us an email. Let us know what you think. Um, we are based out of Utah, so most of our stuff will be Utah based. 
However, if you have um, things that are going on elsewhere, let us know. We'll, we'll, we'll throw out there. We'll plug it for More you. Words, yeah. yeah, so others can hear it. Uh, because even though we're based out of Utah, and most of our stuff will be Utah slash West slash West Utah based surrounding states. Um, AMA District Ten. What he said. And District uh, Eleven, <laughs> I think, is what they are. I uh, we want to talk about this 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 these hobbies everywhere. So you know, let us know, and we'll we'll throw we'll throw the information out there. Again, this is U.S. based, so. In other countries, the rules are going to be a little different for some of the flight stuff, um, but we'll get into that in future episodes. So, I don't have anything else. What else you got? That's about it. We've already given the like, comment, and subscribe nonsense spiel, self, shameless self-plug. So. Well, if we don't do it, who will? <laughs> and uh, I want to thank you guys, everybody, for joining us. Uh, we appreciate it, and look forward for our next episode, and... May the winds be ever in your favor. No, I don't like that. Try again. <laughs> That's not going to be the catchphrase. <laughs> Although that is just stuck in my head, so I was just going to no, say... No, you know. it's either that or remember, when flying inverted, up is down and down is expensive. <laughs> RPM is how hard you hit the ground, and torque is how far you have to dig to get it out. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye. See you guys. <laughs>